Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Peter Parker. Actually, I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm here to talk about the differences as I perceive them between the iPad and the iPad Air. This is the iPad, this is the iPad Air, and you can tell the difference between the two pretty easily when you stack one right on top of the other. Now, this is the previous generation iPad, which kind of looked like the previous, previous generation iPad, so there weren't as many differences between those two iPads, but you can see that there are big differences between these two iPads because it's smaller now, the iPad Air, and it is definitely lighter, looks different, looks like a larger iPad Mini, more than it does an iPad, and that will uh, certainly hold true when I show you the bezel, how they've made the bezel in the new iPad Air in just a moment. The new iPad Air is faster, and you could use it for regular tasks and not necessarily see that much of a difference. Now, if you use more processor-intensive applications, uh, you're probably going to see big differences, like uh, using iMovie, which I know some people do on the iPad or iOS devices in general, and it works just fine. You will notice the differences in terms of speed, and uh, but though uh, in terms of browsing the web, checking email, you may notice a difference, but probably not in terms of speed and performance, uh, just raw performance between the iPad and the iPad Air, which it gets more dramatic, uh, you know, the further back you go in the iPad line versus the newer one, because, you know, we're talking about newer devices, iOS still being optimized, specifically iOS 7. So smaller, uh, more compact, more lightweight, and it costs just as much as it did for you to buy the newer iPad last year, which to me makes it a winner. And yes, Apple's going to say it's the latest and greatest. Well, because it, it, it is the latest, no doubt about it. Is it the greatest? Well, yes, I would say between these two, and it is absolutely greater. Lighter, same battery life, faster, better hardware, empirically speaking. Uh, but did I notice any other dramatic differences between the two? Well, beyond that, no. But dude, it's all about the form factor on the iPad Air. Let me go ahead and hold them up back to back, even though they're a little incongruent, and this is just to show you the color. We've got space gray, which I'm a fan of, uh, over here, and just the classic silver version over here. I'm going to go ahead and pop off the smart covers here, which I had, uh, I was holding up, if only to, to make it a bit easier for me to manage each one of these iPads. Uh, there is the bezel on the iPad Air. Everything else is the same. I'm telling you, if you were just browsing through the web and you saw this clip in the video, you'd wonder if this was really uh, an iPad mini. And it's not. It's an iPad Air. And that's exactly what an iPad Air is in respect to an iPad Mini. I'm going to save that versus video for another day. Compare that to the classic bezel that we've had on every particular iPad going back to Generation 1. And that was a bit more equidistant. Now, the, even though you'd wonder, well, what if I'm holding onto the iPad like this? Hey, look, it's it's two Perillos in one, two Chris Perillo, three, four. How many Chris Perillos do you see in one video? Uh, if you're holding onto the iPad, say like this, you can still use your other finger and operate the iPad. I, uh, iOS had a tweak added to it a few revisions ago, long before iOS 7 was revealed. Uh, so, yes, uh, there are absolute noticeable differences in physicality between the classic iPad and the newer iPad Air. Uh, I would expect those differences to be even more dramatic uh, going all the way back, depending on what was the last iPad that you bought or had or used. Uh, and of course, they've uh, certainly improved over time as well. One of the things that I think is really interesting from Apple's perspective is that they're still, still selling old iPads, but they're selling iPad 2. That's the one with a 30-pin connector, really uh, one of the last ones. Uh, compare that to the new Lightning connector, which I'm a huge fan of if only because I don't have to do this and fumble with connectors. I just plug it in no matter which direction. You ever do that, right? You're you're going to, to insert a USB adapter and you have to reverse it 14 times uh, before it finally goes in. You don't have that problem with lightning. It's one of the, the reasons why I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, so to me, uh, the differences are absolutely noticeable, not just in, in price, uh, but certainly in uh, how they leapt... Uh, not just over a generation, but they really improved it. The size, maintaining the battery, increasing speed, they made it a better iPad experience. And it is absolutely better in that respect. Now, in terms of the other differences between the two, you could probably look up the specs online and do your own chart comparison. Did I feel that using the iPad Air was nicer than using the classic iPad? Yes, I did, because it was lighter. It was the same usable screen size, and it was faster. Even if it's just a hair faster. I've got hair. It's about, it's about one Perillo hair faster, maybe. It felt like that. 
but it was worth it. Absolutely worth the upgrade. I will be selling my old iPad, but old iPads are great to keep around the house too because you never know when you're going to need to pick up a tablet, browse the web, do something else, even if you don't have it tied to any particular Apple account. Uh, I think that in a matter of time, our houses, our homes, are going to be filled with tablets that we just pass on to other people who live with us. Uh, or, or maybe if you live alone, that you could have a tablet in every room. You could have your own... Turn the old iPad into a bathroom tablet. Because, come on, let's let's face it, you're... You're, you're doing something in there other than what you should be doing. Uh, there's my comparison. If I missed anything, it was not intentional. My experience has been good. So thanks again for commenting, asking questions that I can respond to. Of course, remembering to like. And what else? Well, yeah, share this video, you know, for people who, you know, might be bored with the other tech videos that kind of look the same. You know, they want something a little more animated. Ah, like a guy in a Spider-Man hoodie who's going to do this now at the end of the video. It's great. Who else is doing this in a versus? I can't even see right now. This, it's crazy, man. I'm an arachnophobe, and I'm wearing a Spider-Man hoodie with gigantic glasses on underneath the mesh. I can still see you, though. So uh, thanks again for subscribing.